They say that it takes about 10,000 hours to achieve elite performance. We all have 168 hours in the week. And yet the only difference between those who have achieved success and those who haven't is how they choose to spend each of those hours. It's said that we are a function of our habits. When every decision that we make in every single moment has the capacity to take us closer to or further away from our ultimate goal, we are here to analyze the common themes in the habits of those that are successful and those that have achieved success to lay out a blueprint for you. Welcome to the Elite Athlete Blueprint Podcast, the podcast that will give you all of the tools that you need to make sure that you can learn from the absolute best wisdom available on the topic of elite performance and spend the next 10 years putting in the 10,000 hours of work you need to achieve elite athletic performance. So I've sort of spoken a bit about this before, but really just wanted to make a quick little audio just to um, tell people about you know the crucial habit that will allow them to digest this elite athlete blueprint in a way that facilitates you know the rest of their athletic career and make the most of it. And it's the idea of doing five minutes of diligent time onto this, or say five to, to 20 minutes, and you can do more. Obviously, the, the idea of five minutes is that anyone can do five minutes a day, and then chances are you're going to end up doing more anyway but if you just simply do five minutes and even just read a heading or watch the first five minutes of a video and then think about that then that will have a massive impact on you but um the reason why we sort of say okay five minutes to focus on the key aspects of this elite athlete blueprint is because it's designed as a as the blueprint as sort of the guide for the next 10 years of your life to invest 10,000 hours in the most appropriate way possible to help yourself become the elite athlete that you want to be. And so by spending your time every single day and building that habit, you'll make sure that you're investing your time in the right way. And um, there's a quote from Seth Godin, who's one of my favorite marketing minds. And he says that once you become successful, you know, the challenge isn't, you know, what to spend your time doing, but the challenge is to actually determine what to not spend your time doing. And that's sort of what the Elite Athlete Blueprint can help you to determine. You can understand, you know, where you're at relative to your goals and your ability. And then you can progressively work through all of the modules and hear everything that we've got to say and get the information into you at the right time when you need it. Um, because as I talked about with the tree of knowledge and the knowledge tree concept, the way the brain works is by layering knowledge on already established knowledge. So if there's something that we don't know and someone's talking about that or they're giving us information on that, we're not going to retain it as well as if we know it intricately and we've already been working with it. That's why we have school and why we have you know, kindergarten learning the basics of spelling and numbers all the way up to you know, university education where every year you gradually get more knowledge laid upon based on you know, what we know the human brain is capable of. And so... Essentially the exact same concept with the Elite Athlete Blueprint. Um, some of you might have more advanced knowledge and some of you might have lesser knowledge. But I guess the beauty of it is is that I'm doing this podcast for anyone to jump into any episode and, and gain something. And then hopefully when they listen to the podcast, they understand like, oh, wow, that's really cool. I'd love to be involved in the Elite Athlete Blueprint. They go into the blueprint and then they can sort of make sense of where this episode that you're listening to right now fits within the context of the whole thing. Um, and then they can start to determine, okay, what do I know? What do I not know? But the beauty of it is like anyone at any stage could listen to any of these episodes and learn something. So even if you're the most elite coach on the planet, you're going to be able to listen to, or elite athlete on the planet, you're going to be able to listen to these audios in a progressive manner in the way that it's outlined and get benefit from every single episode. And so... Um, it's not just going to be me talking as well. I know a lot of it to start with is just, just me, but we're going to have the other guys from the Sonics, um, some of whom have played sort of internationally and professionally and others who are professional coaches for their career. And then what we're doing from there is getting you know the world's best experts in their particular fields and in their particular areas of elite performance. And um, we'll be hearing from them and determining you know how do they fit within the whole scope of elite athleticism and what can they add to what we know and layer within the framework and the structure and we're going to create the most comprehensive guide um, of elite athletic performance and then if you work with us then we'll give you a blueprint based on where you're at in in conjunction with this guide 
Uh, but the best place to start is really just build the habit. Um, ben P- Pekulski, one of my favorite sort of, I guess, human optimization coaches, really comes in from a bodybuilding angle. But he talks about, you know, elite athleticism and elite um, physique and leanness in the context of bodybuilding, which is difficult. You know, not many people are walking around lean because it's hard. Um, you know, that's easy when you build the right habits to, to be able to do it. And so what this is about is helping you to install the habits so that everything you do in your life is easy. You know, it's not easy to eat healthy because of the way things are set up and you know, our brain is going to gravitate towards foods that provide us with immediate pleasure, but it's not going to be good longer term. And so when we look at the ideas of sort of elite performance, we understand that it's difficult. It requires us to sort of make our body uh, become challenged and allocate our precious ability to recover towards things that the body might not necessarily want to do. And to be able to do that, we have to be focused on it. We have to know, you know where we need to spend our time. We have to make sure that our energy is being placed in the right areas because if we don't think about where we're putting our energy, as I talked about in the, the recovery component of the six pillars of performance, then if we don't determine where it goes, then life's going to determine it for us. And chances are it's not going to be in line with being an elite athlete because you know, life isn't designed for us to be an elite athlete. Life is designed for us to simply progress through and you know live with our family and go to school and then go to university and work a paying job. And so, you know, our brain's going to trick us into wanting to go out and socialize and drink alcohol and eat food that provides us with rewards. But we need to install the habits that move us closer towards the goal that we want to have. And that's why the goal setting component is so important because when we have that compass and that true north of what we need to do and we understand the factors that go into it, and this is sort of the importance of going through the elite athlete blueprint is because every day you learn a new factor that goes into you achieving elite athleticism um, or whatever it is that your goal is and you know elite athleticism and elite human performance is synonymous and i'd like to think that most people really have a goal of being elite in something um, because that's sort of the thing that underpins human motivation is that idea of mastery and you know when we we look at okay well what's the most simple way to to do that make it sustainable to achieve anything that's elite it must be sustainable and it must fit within our lifestyle and so the easiest way that any person on this planet can start interacting with this is simply going through the course five minutes minimum per day looking at one little bit of a lecture applying it tomorrow building a new habit and starting from there and the most important habit that you can build is to learn from this course every single day and there's so much supporting material you know already we've got over a thousand hours of material within this course and um you could easily learn for ten thousand hours by the time you know you go on to that supporting material and then you get drawn into something else and something else and something else and that was the whole point of this program was to simply point you in the right direction so that you could find things that interested you and you know explore your own goals and explore them further and so you know don't just be bound to what we have to say like we're going to give you a good structure and we're going to plug in some of the things that we've come across and we're going to continue adding them in as well but you know the more you can explore and the more you can be curious the better because there's so much that you know all of us don't know and each of us has an individually unique experience um and if someone's achieved something then they have their experience of how to achieve that and they can give you advice on that thing so yeah really i just wanted to make this to implore you all to interact with the elite athlete blueprint do a minimum five minutes a day put it in your calendar you know say okay on the bus to school or before bed or as i get up in the morning i'm going to do five minutes a day and just simply look at it apply it i think the best time to do it would definitely be Five minutes in the morning as you get up and then five minutes at night before you go to bed. And if you do that, then, you know, you set your mindset right for the day. And you've got a really cool concept to focus on. And then if you do it before bed, then you can review sort of what you, you went through the day and see how successful it was. And then you can take a look at, okay, well, what, what am I going to focus on tomorrow? And so you kind of prime yourself 
while you sleep to get the most out of the information. And if you continue to do that, then it's only a matter of time before you start to accumulate the hours towards 10,000 hours and start up. You know, the next 10 years, you keep doing that, then you're going to have all the information you need to achieve elite athleticism. And then really, all you got to do from there is just make sure that, okay, I'm going through elite performance. Just take action every single day. Take the action you need, you know, follow the recovery blueprint, understand what activity you're doing and how much uh, damage it's causing to your body. And then from there, you know, 10,000 hours later, you're going to be a professional basketball player and you're going to be living your dream.